Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Settle Welcome for Hello. July 10th, 2015. Yes. I am Michael Soroka, along here with Nick Houselander. How you doing? Our other hosts, uh, Donna Trades in TG Live 3, and uh, Nin Glendo. Nin Glendo. That's not Nin Glendo. That's right, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah that's right. Uh, in uh, Twin Galaxies Live 2. Welcome, everybody. But for those of you who may be joining us the first time, uh, settled on the screen is the commentary show about the Twin Galaxies database, world uh, record chasing, yeah. um, you know, <laughs> speed runs. We'll get into that later. <laughs> into the show. Interesting choice yeah. of words. Um, so mm -hmm. we're here every week. If you want to join in the conversation, please uh, go ahead and call uh, TG Live 4 or 5 um, if you want to butt in. But uh, let's. Uh, we got some... Got a little news about some events coming up. We just want to remind everybody. And, of course, select world records from the Twin Galaxies database for the week of July 10th, 2015. These are just a select few um, chosen from the many approved there's verification. A lot, yeah. There's always there's more than just these. Yeah. Because we like to always... There's at least six or seven more. Yeah. Ah! Oh, man. We need to fire our technical director. Crap. There we go. Oh, hey. man. We got uh, Robbie Lakeman from Phoenix, Arizona. Arcade Donkey Kong points. Hammer allowed. <laughs> Not to be uh, confused with non-hammer use. Uh, it's 1,158,000. 400 points. It's official. Yep. Robbie Lakeman beat his own nice. score. We talked about it two weeks, but now it's official. It's been verified. People watched the video 16, 17 times, went to his house, you know, checked his... Or water, water, I'm water sorry. It, it was, it was done sure. at Fun Spot. Everybody made sure the Fun <clears throat> Spot machine was still the same machine. Now, is it true, though, that he just submitted a picture, though? What do you mean? Oh, Instead a screenshot? Video, just a screenshot? Yeah, Brian Crew, Brian Crew just basically... That's cool. I mean, that's all you really need is a picture anyway. Right? Yeah, screenshot, right? Yeah. That, that's enough verification. That's all we got to do for our NHL 94 yeah. <laughs> one that we screwed up. <laughs> uh, congratulations to newcomer to the database, Scott oh, Simpsons of so Grand, Grand Granada Hills, Hills California. Yeah. A record that has been standing for over six years. Nice. Super Mario Kart, Mario Circuit 1, fastest rate, one minute. Uh, in 0.45 seconds. Uh, he also got the fastest lap record as well, I believe, on the same run. Don't quote me, but he did submit both. I ain't reading both of them. But oh, congratulations, right. Scott. Welcome, and congratulations on your first world record at Twin Galaxies. Yeah, lap number five looks pretty good. Nice. That's not bad. We got Jesse Porter from Roscoe, Texas, the video game capital of the universe. <laughs> Uh, I got Sega Tennis Tennis. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Oh, <laughs> not an easy game to find. No. Um, fastest completion? Four thousand. Or is that? That's 4,000 and... No, it's 40 minutes. It's 40 Sorry, minutes Nick. and 11. Sorry. My bad. I wasn't sure if you are putting seconds down or... 40 minutes and 11 seconds. The font changed in the semicolon. Yeah. yeah come on. Nah, that's, whatever. that's weird. Nice job, Jesse. <clears throat> yeah, I like it. It's good stuff. Congratulations to... Rudy Ferretti, Trojan on the NES, 696,750 points. So, What's that game like? I've never heard I've of it. I've never played it. Oh, I have. Yeah, have you? cool. I'm actually, I'm actually pretty familiar with that. I'm pretty sure I could beat that score. Oh, cool. Looks like some competition. So confident are you. Oh, well, it's not that hard of a game. We got uh, Matthew mean... Miller from New Jersey, USA. Uh, Nintendo WiiWare, Tetris Party, CBM, that's Computer Battle Mode, uh, for those who don't know the game very well. Uh, fastest Victory, 12, 12 seconds, 12.49 seconds. Yep, so. pretty awesome. That is a, now that's, that's that pretty awesome. I think the that's previous, my kind of game. previous scores was, I believe, 32 seconds, and there's a couple Jesus. other ones after that one, and so he demolished that one. Now, see, that's a game worth playing. Mm -hmm. You dedicate 13 seconds of your time, now that's a game uh, worth playing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I, no, he, it took him. It took him like an hour to get that. By the way, it was like I, I, oh, yeah. I saw that one. I think it was like minute forty something. Yeah, that he started that run, or so. something like that. Yeah. You mean he didn't yeah. get that? Uh, that wasn't like rookie luck. That <laughs> was wasn't like no. Front. No. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah. Um, but you can try. You should try. All, I thought all world records were like first timers. Like they'd never Pretty, played the game before. Yeah. Just the first attempt. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's how I thought it was. Uh, congratulations to Chris. That's how it is. Yeah. 
Uh, from nowhere. From nowhere. Man USA. Um, Nintendo Wii, Mario Kart Wii, Luigi Circuit. Time trial, 1 minute 14 seconds. Congratulations to him. I believe that is either his first or second submission. Cool. Awesome, awesome. Is that, uh, that one, that was a long-standing record, too. Was it? So, I like that. Nice job. Was that a, to Tom's brother, right? Tom Brady's brother? No, not no. Tom. Oh, it's not brother. Okay. Well, then maybe a controller gate or something oh. like that. Oh. Um, well, let me take care of this one. I like what? to apologize to no. Peter. Um, Peter and Jacob Sprint, uh, Peter Nadalian. No. So, no. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sure. They both achieved this score last week, and I only read um, Jacob's score oh. at the same time. Within days, they were both verified okay, and submitted. Well. So yeah. they both got, they're sharing the world record. So I want to congratulate Peter <laughs> as well. So that's my oops, I missed it. There's so many submissions, I'm not going to see them all. Yeah, Sorry. see into the future, though. Yeah. Either, man. What I we love about that submission is it's basically Gabby J is like this, like old, can barely like move his fists, and they're just wailing on this guy. And I'm like, <laughs> you can't feel good about yourself at the end of that. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen Gabby J? He's like he's like Glass Joe, only older. He's like an old Glass Joe. So it's really yeah, it's yeah. Dad. He's beating yeah. his dad. Huh. He's like he's like the homeless guy fighting for a sandwich. It's not, it's not a pretty fight. <laughs> yeah, no, we talked about it last week. That's the lady that runs the the black market thing in the Hunger Games. Mm -hmm. uh, Still nothing. i got to stop using that joke. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, got I, Alex I haven't seen the Hunger Games, so I don't know. What? Get it. I saw, the, like, the first two, and then oh, I'm like, great. I'm not going to watch the second one until they show the whole thing, right? Yeah. I mean, the third one. Like, it's two parts. Just read the books. They're, they're awesome. Yeah, I uh, should. They're really good. Um, Alex Sokol from Japan. Mm -hmm. Just Japan, somewhere in Japan. Yep. Uh, Nintendo Entertainment System, Ice Climber, NTSC. How about that? Mm -hmm. Points two million five hundred twenty-nine thousand and forty. And again, this score has been going back and forth between three people. Oh, excuse me. What oh, the wow. heck was that? An appropriate belch on the air. Um, congratulations to Alex. It's, I'm assuming somebody's going to top that score pretty soon. Maybe. Maybe. Do you know something? No, I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, congratulations to Gary Harmon from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. <laughs> He's going through Cruising World on Nintendo 64. This is his third score. Uh, demolishing the previous scores at 36.73 seconds. Nice job, Gary. Great picture, by the way, because I, I, I laughed like an idiot the second I saw it. So Good, good stuff. Uh, I got Jonathan Bowen. Bowen? Jonathan Bowen. Let's go with that. Smithfield, Utah. SNES Cybernata points 343,350. Yep. Cool. First score, too, I believe, for him. Oh, congratulations. congratulations. That's what this is. Oh, we can do this. You guys want some like entertainment? It. Go to the adjudication archive mm -hmm. and watch the beginning of this. It's, it's my favorite part of why. I mean, you don't. I mean, the community, majority of the community, let me, let me clarify yeah. here wants camcorder to prove that you actually played it on the same system yeah. you didn't copy it from anybody on the internet the second reason why i love this or i like camcorders is the audio in the background and the conversations <laughs> people have with their girl i'm assuming girlfriend wife uh a female it, and there's a little baby in the room and it's just oh, it's awesome. just it's entertaining to listen to like it was, it was funny. She was talking about something at the beginning. Like, are you recording? Yeah, this is it. Oh, you can't do that. You gotta start. I mean, it's just. Oh, that's it's so awesome. I like the entertainment. Oh, dude. Other that's than the just best. the entertainment of the game. That's the best part, yeah. really. Yeah. They should have an award for, like, most entertaining. Video. Most entertaining world yeah. um, a submission to the Twin Galaxies database. We got uh, Leonardo Bugman from. Oh, wait, no, from nowhere. Again. A lot of nowhere land, man. Yeah. Uh, iOS Run Bird Run points 230. Congratulations to him. That looks like a mm -hmm. that looks like an iPad. And uh, we I we are seeing this. We, we are reading the. Uh, I am reading the chat. We will get to that a little bit later in the show. World record. We even have a little comedy thing here. We'll we'll talk about. Um, we'll discuss what's a world record, what's not a world record, what's a TG record, and we'll go over many of the questions that happened during this week and what's going on with that kind of stuff and why we may call this a world record even though it may not be a world record. We'll get to that yeah, shortly. We, we will be answering questions. Yeah, well, well, well yeah. yeah, but once again, you gotta take our once, answers again, with a grain of once salt. again, the views expressed in the following <laughs> show are for entertainment purposes only. Whatever. So, 
Yeah, people know that. Yeah. Right? Well, they're Maybe. joining it halfway through the show. They, they heard it. Um, first, we're going to talk about just some general gaming events. Um, we're going to talk, first of all, about... Oh, up. I can't run a switcher <gasps> and host the show at the same time. That's oh, not wow. real? Tomorrow, here hey. on Twin Galaxies Live. I know that guy. Steve Wiebe is going to be uh, going for a Donkey Kong World Attempt at the Mall of America. So if you're at the Mall of America, M-O-M. why don't you say hi to M-O-A, Wiebe? He's sorry. a really, really fun guy. Yep. And uh, he's very personable to talk to. Definitely good. Uh, if you want to get a picture with him because you want the King of Kong fame, yeah, he's no Donkey Kong World Record holder anymore. But, uh, you know. Uh, Once a king, we'll, always a king. You know, check this out. We're out to the video. It's coming. That's okay. We're a live show. Oh, yeah. It's, like, it's all good. Maybe I didn't prove. And go. Three. <laughs> there it goes. Go. <laughs> you, can, you should be able to see it live in Skype. Yep, we can yep, see, we it. see it. All right, you do got you like 10 seconds. Do you want us to do it again later? Cool. And we're back in three. Two. So, tomorrow, if you're not doing anything, <laughs> jump on Twin Galaxies Live and watch we be play Donkey Kong. I like no, I'm just saying. If you're not, yeah, if you're not busy or anything. I mean, I'm, I'll watch Robbie Lakeman play Donkey yeah. Kong. Because he's a little more likely that he's going to get the world. No, beat the way, his own school. No, what you got to say is, if you have plans tomorrow, cancel them right now. <laughs> Call whoever you're, if you've got a wedding, go be like, I'm sorry, something is far more important. Or, or if you live in small thing. America, just go to it. No, exactly. I, I don't know what's going on, but, but I bet <laughs> it's pretty cool. Oh, I'm cool. sure it's awesome. Yeah. He's a very fun guy to watch. Um, that's starting next weekend, California Extreme in Santa Carla, California, July 18th through 19th. Just uh, <laughs> tell oh, no. is falling apart. Um, so, uh, you know, many of you will be going to that. I know who will watch our show, Great Arcade Expo. Um, July 24th through 31st, Games Done Quick, um, a very speed-running event. I like it. Just Google that. It's in St. Paul, Minnesota. I believe there's still t- tickets available. I'm not sure. Um, so if you want to be there live in person, you know, check out Games Done Quick. They always raise money for charity. Oh, very cool. awesome thing. It's not even speedruns. It's just you just play a game for like 10 seconds. And then it's, like it doesn't even, it's not even going for it. Like, no, no, they are going for Oh, speed okay. Runs. Oh, it is? Oh, okay. Sorry. It's, it's displaying their skill for charity. Oh, I thought it was just like, you can play Punisher for like eight seconds. Like, oh, cool. Those seem fun. Maybe I'll play it more later. <laughs> um, Professional Amateur and Pinball Associations Replay FX, oh. July 30th through August 2nd in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, PA. Back to some Twin Galaxies roots. Walter Day is going to be having what? a tournament there. I don't know if he's running it. It's called the Walter Day. Oh, okay. I don't know the exact. Is terms, he making but... an appearance? Oh, he'll be there. Oh, yeah. sweet. There's about five or six games for a Twin tournament. Galaxy. It's 25 bucks to get in. There That's is prizes. Bad. For more information, go to the website. Don't rely on us, of course, because no, this is for entertainment purposes. <laughs> Do not listen to us. Um, also, at Replay FX is the Kong Off Four. Um, so Richie Knuckles has been. <sighs> Restoring more Donkey Kongs. Jeez. He's going against my wishes and bringing them back <laughs> to life. So the Kong Off 4 will be there as well. Many of you, I know, will may be traveling or competing in the Kong Off 4. Um, I don't think we'll be able to go this year, but maybe we'll have a... No, no unfortunately. And then uh, a little bit later down the road, the Video Game Championship, August 16th through 17th. The VGC? Yep, the VGC oh. will be happening, so make sure you mark your calendars. Um, former champions, like uh, in Twin Galaxies Live 2, uh, Glenn Updike will be there, yep. so he may try to uh, reclaim his uh, championship from previous year, be a, a repeat. Who's so, who's uh, who's running that event? Um, some very good people. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's all. I mean, that's cool. just go, you know, find it out. Look it up. I like it. So those are the events coming up. Uh, we do have, a, I guess, two more world records to announce. We're kind of breaking them up here a little bit. What? Um, we got more? Yeah. They're oh, not. Man. Trust me, this one. This is, we shouldn't even be reading this for, one. Uh, but the reason. Oh, we already read me, that one, right? Yeah, we already read that one. Oh, okay. We need a director. Hey! I, I want Dude, to, when is that picture from? That picture's from 2002. <laughs> I was going to say. I'm reading this not because we we're self-serving. <laughs> like same, yeah, exactly. I'm not here to self-serve us, but... This is Nick's very yes. first submission to the Twin Galaxies database as number one. See, I do and play video games. He everybody. does play video games. We're doing this every night after, uh, every time after the show, trying to beat the computer, getting geared up for the uh, NHL 94 
tournament in Toronto, oh October 12th. So congratulations, Nick. Oh, yeah. Nice job. <laughs> That's fantastic. Dude, yeah. I haven't seen that picture in about yeah. 13 years. Yeah, so I, I don't hate Donkey Kong. I'm just having fun with it. Oh, I got look, look at that. He gets two pictures. Yeah, he gets cool. two because I'll go over this. Real we got uh, Addison. Is it Dumpkey? Oh, sure. Nice. Sure. Uh, Addison Dumpkey, if we must pronounce, mispronounce your name, uh, we apologize. Uh, for the PlayStation Final Fantasy VII entire game, fastest minimalist completion, 13 hours, 14 minutes, and 11 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn. And then we also, nice. you know, it's we got a new Twin Galaxies what? record. Two in a row? Uh, 13 hours, 14 minutes, and 11 seconds. And this is our segue into the discussion. <clears throat> okay. Uh, because people will go, is that the official world, 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 world record? We're not well, sure. That's what here's, we're here for. Oh, man. No, what you do? I don't know how to work a switcher. Oh, cool. That's all. Yeah, you do. You're an awesome. You're an yes. awesome tech. We here on this show in Twin Galaxies says we announce world records in video games. The now, WRs. is it the highest score out there? Well, yes. some of them. Yeah, I mean, we know or the no. Donkey Kong ones because of the movie and the, you know, the one place to track for Donkey Kong is at Twin Galaxies. But when it comes to other games and speed runnings and little, you know, other communities, of course, there's probably somebody out there with a higher score. Well, so this is kind of the debate we're going to have to talk about. If you guys have something to talk about, please join us in the chat. Um, there were some things that went down on the website, which I'm not going to touch too much about, talking about adding speed runs to the Twin Galaxies database, and it wasn't done in the proper way. Pop, you know? yeah, I yeah. mean, it, it really wasn't. And uh, nobody's the, perfect. The, uh, the, the custodian of Twin Galaxies yes. did remedy it, and it, yes, it wasn't the best thing. Now, what it brings out is the, the part that is making me want to do this segment, we had a different show planned Wednesday, but this all happened Thursday and Friday night. I had to change is, the plan. What, what is Twin Galaxies about? Of course, everybody knows Twin Galaxies is the very first score-keeping thing. Yep. Now, just because it's the first, does that mean it's the best or the most credible? Well, of course not. I mean, there's there's so much history that yeah. has been tried to been repaired. Everybody doubts scores. We doubt scores. I mean, everybody probably doubts scores that are in there, but there's sometimes there's not enough proof Definitely. to really bring it out. And It's been the hardest part about bringing oh, yeah. the show back especially oh yeah and it I really mean, has been and we've been here through the bad owners we'll, we'll be honest with absolutely. you absolutely trust me the, the <laughs> owner beforehand who oh we'll call a slumlord who likes to fly a plane i mean us few who are actual sort of employees did everything we could do to change it to keep it credible and there's only so much we can do and it's time you know time and over and over again yeah people lose credibility yes. and we, we get that, but there's still a place for Twin Galaxies, and, and that's what, you know, the few comments to some of the new people we've, I guess, been talking to on the yeah. forums, you know, you know, like, they wish, some of them wish for us to go away completely from the gaming scene. Some of them say, hey, you should stick around and just do this only and do this only. Well, who, who's, who in the right mind is going to be the one that says to do this? Nobody is. It's just going to be a matter of opinion. Yep. So. Matter of opinion works by you go to this site and you submit to this site. It's up to you. If it stays away, it, it's up to you what you consider a world record. Now, what I'm going to go through is just my personal opinion. This isn't Twin Galaxies. I'm not going to bring up the disclaimer again. But, you know, when I when I look and I submit it, like, I'm not a speedrunner. So I really wasn't into this whole controversy. I didn't even look at the speedrun track because I don't like speedruns. I, I, Which is I, ironic, because Sonic is your favorite game. I do have a Sonic Spinball kind of, speed run kind of funny, on yeah. Twin Galaxies, yeah. you know, and I think it would be the fastest on these other websites. I haven't checked it out, but... Are you into slowest completion? The one... <laughs> don't, don't... Okay, don't get some curious. guys started <laughs> okay. on slowest. Was just, was People are going to want to do slowest. Right. Yeah, um, one of them. Exactly. <laughs> so, the thing that's special to me, yeah. me, not Twin Galaxies, we're just a bunch of morons on this channel yeah. talking about our experiences, is Twin Galaxies does that promoting. Yes. Maybe it doesn't do it very well the past five years. Maybe Jace <laughs> is doing a little bit better job. But a little, like the a little bit better? Okay, he is doing better. <laughs> oh, my God. But what Twin Galaxies does is it gives that person the name and tries to give that person the fame. Yeah. And what I mean by fame... I look at all the other websites, I compare my scores, I know I'm not the fastest, but what I don't know about these other ones is who these people actually are. Yeah. Now, 
they can submit their picture and their profile, they can put their name in their profile, but when a leaderboard exists, it's the gamer tag. When you go online to an online Xbox 360, it's you know it's a it's a gamer tag. Yes. It's not the it's actual not person. person. And the new Twin Galaxies within the past six months, the year, has gone through different steps to verify these players are the actual names of the people who are competing. And that's where, that's what I'm looking for. That's just me personally. Now, if, if I want to find the hot, fastest Sonic completion, I know who it is. I think his name is Mikey52 or 82. Yeah, yeah. Speed Demos Archive. I've watched it run a million times trying to improve my game. I know he's the true world record holder. But I don't know. Well, I think his name's on Speed Demos. Okay. So, that, I, you know, I do agree with that. No, putting putting a person's real name it lends yeah. a little credibility. And they to it. and that website does do that. And yeah. then there's a few other speed there, there's other speed run websites. There's speed run and there's speed runs live, but that's more of a racing type. And then there's all the little communities. I mean, there's a Mario Kart. We've announced a few Mario Kart records. Are those the new world records? No, I know they're not the fastest. And I bet those people who play the games know they're not fastest. But there's a reason why people submit here, and that's that's what it is. And if some of these people don't acknowledge that or don't like it, well, that's what we're here for. So don't well, you know? Don't trump it. Go ahead. Anybody about, else? Um, no, I talked a lot. What about non-English speaking forums, which there are plenty of? Yeah. That pe people are forgetting about those, but there are plenty of Japanese, Korean, and 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 other non-English speaking communities out there. French and that. Or just basically not even in the conference. It's not like Twin Galaxies and versus speed run, speedruns.com or speedrun.com. It's not like these two giants. But the other thing I wanted to mention was I promised someone I would mention something about it, which is someone well, asked, why don't you, why doesn't Twin Galaxies recognize scores on other sites? And I think there are two answers. One is to just submit your evidence and then you could do that, right? They, they, they could submit it. Also, Twin Galaxy has a really high criteria for evidence with other sites, may or may not. It's different criteria. And the second reason is, is the fastest guy in the world the guy who won the Olympics for fastest guy? No. That's the guy who showed up, right? Yeah. You don't show up, then how are you? Can't be it doesn't, you know, exactly. The, I may be playing at home. I may be the best player ever. If I never submitted anywhere, I'm not going to get that recognition. And... So it's, you know, the fastest guy, he's not the fastest guy in the world. He's the fastest guy in the world who showed up. Hence, yeah. But how else can you judge a world record? How can you say that's, who is that's the only way competition works? Yeah, yeah exactly. It, it, exactly. About five years ago, how me and Nick got to start is we got to interview Walter Day. <laughs> that's why I was he thinking said he was retiring thing, yeah. from all gaming events. Well, that, I guess that was a lie, too. He's like, the, he's like Michael Jordan. Yeah, he always comes back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he, I mean, he basically said the same thing. So this is coming from Walter's mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at the time, I think Hank Chen was the world record holder. Yeah, is Hank so. Chen, was Hank Chen the world record holder, he said? No way. I bet there's somebody out, out there who's maybe doing something else who's probably a better Donkey Kong player. But he just doesn't have the time or the resources, or he doesn't even know to submit to Twin Galaxies or to MAME or yeah. any of these websites. It's, it's just... You know, I guess what I'm getting to the point is, yes, we should, you know, we should call everything a new Twin Galaxies record on this show. Or the website should say that. Yeah, you want to put it at that point? Yeah, because otherwise, we got to go and research every little, every person who's ever completed. Exactly. And, and that's why the Twin Galaxies' new system for adjudicating and, you know, proper is a step in the right direction. Do yeah. I say it's perfect? Hell no, no, it's not perfect. No such thing is perfect. So I, that's, I just want to kind of just just a little bit of background of why people still submit and why people do call them world records. I mean, p part of it is some people, they get their name in the Guinness books. I mean, Absolutely. And some people go, yep, Guinness is the longest standing world record. And if I have to go through Twin Galaxies to be on there, then that's how well, you do it. then that's what some people do. Is it the fastest score? No, I see way faster scores on YouTube. You yep. know? But it's, it's about who's willing to let them know they're the best, I guess. Well, and and the, provide the sufficient evidence, right? A YouTube video, is that an emulator? Is that, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know who it is. I don't know what their stuff, you know, there's no way, like, going back to the point you said that, so. Tool-assisted? Yeah, it could be tool-assisted. It could be who knows what. 
Could the be video a, a, sped up just slightly, you know, stuff like that. Right. And I'm not, I'm not trying to call into question the, the speedrun.com scores. I don't know what their adjudication process is. It might be awesome. No idea. But at the same time, why... we preface it every week saying this is the Twin Galaxies world records. Yes. I mean, I kind of say world but, Yeah, we do. Yeah, we, do. Say, we know we that for, it's the Twin I Galaxies. I say for the Twin Galaxies database. Yes, exactly. This is the world record that we see as the world record. Yeah. yeah. Which, it's fine. I mean, it's almost like uh, world, you know, worldwide when, in baseball. We call it the World Series. Mm-hmm. Even there though it's, right. teams, Yeah, there are only teams from North America playing in baseball. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. there might be a team in Japan that's better, or a team in Korea you know that's actually better Miss than... Universe, I happen to know there's, a, there's an alien out there that's hotter <laughs> than Miss Universe. There might be. Yeah. There I, is. I think so. I don't know, though. It's just listening. Uh-huh. That chick from Mars than, on... Uh, Total Recall. That's... <laughs> um, okay, the one that three hands. I'm yeah. going to try to go through the chat here. I just saw one that kind of speak my interest. i got to go back through it. I was talking too much. Uh, yeah. Question about TG's new policy. Can you submit someone else's record for verification? Um, no, you cannot. The, the idea is that person has to be verified to submit their score because you're presenting the case that this is my score and this is my evidence. Um, to do it for somebody else, well, that, they're not going through the proper channels of, you know, they, we cut the sporting events, you know, registering, making sure that person's, you know, not yeah. on steroids. I'm not saying we test for steroids or anything <laughs> like that. Which, what would our five years ago, mean? the owner wanted us to. Whatever, we're not getting Wait, into that. Wait, what? Yeah, don't even ask. I was going to say, don't I thought I knew ask. everything. Don't even ask. It's that because I'm so buff. Like, there was a question... Well, there's other things like that. So, dude, that's awesome. So, so to answer that's, your question, that's entertaining. the purpose of that is to <clears throat> validate who is actually <throat> submitting. Now, granted, why would I want to give my score to Nick? That's one thing. Now, if there's you're a nice guy. now if there's historical historical scores, let's just say somebody can't submit it, you know, medical or if somebody's passed away, yeah. and there's there's enough evidence to prove that that score, I bet, uh, I bet. Twin Galaxies, the community, the, uh, what's his name, Jace Hall, would be open to, you know, for cases like that. So I'm not saying... Mm -hmm. What if you inherited a box of tapes from an old uncle and you were like, he got... 1.6 1.6 on Donkey Kong, and or, it's legit. Or 3.3 or 3.3, yeah. maybe um, he can be 3.4. If there's enough evidence, real I'm pretty sure that. Oh, man. Why not? That I mean, I would be for it. I mean, this is my opinion, you know. It's a 35 millimeter film. 35, okay, oh, shut Donkey up. Kong, <laughs> God, that'd be awesome. You know what's out there. Yeah. So. Oh, it's nice. Puppet sponsors are back to our old Bud Light. Yes. Line. So. Bud Light, Apple, uh, they ran out, and they, for whatever reason, didn't send us more, mm-hmm. so. They sent us Bud Light Lime this time. I don't know. Maybe it's a border thing. You know, it's still, it's not as good as Apple, but it's still decent. And it's summer, so it makes sense. Mm. Apple's more of a fall drink. Oh, I'm going to read this one. What? what percentage of TG submitters don't have autism, I wonder? Hmm, that's, a, that's a nice one. Actually, some of them do, all right? And, and that's fine because, you know what? The people with autism have incredible video game skills. Oh, absolutely. So that's I don't true. know what the purpose yeah. of that comment is pentium 4 go get yourself a pentium 2 all right so um, yeah they stop being good after yeah pentium exactly two. so autism or not third the dog can play video games maybe they can just yeah, don't get care. over it thanks thanks for your comment thanks for joining the show though appreciate it thanks for coming on <laughs> passive aggressive yeah because glenn so, i'm gonna talk to you real yep. quick glenn he was. What's I don't know this? if he's actively going, but you're going for. You're trying to get a decent run on Super Metroid, weren't you? Yeah. yeah. Um, I was just about ready to hit sub 140 on 100%. Okay. So let's say you get 139. <laughs> Is that the world record? No, not even yeah, close. Yeah, I thought. <laughs> There's actually a central leaderboard, but I. I would. Li- I literally played that game for to get to a 142. I think it was for 100. percent First, you got to memorize all 100 items where they're at and all the routes and stuff like that. Um, first run I did that was 100 percent that I actually timed was just over two hours, and I whittled it down to 142, and that took about 
two to four hours, a game or two a day, that roughly for about a month and a half, two months, solid grinding to shave off that 20 minutes. Which did you do I anything other than uh, just play yourself, or did you go online and try to watch other people or anything? Yeah, I, I for the first week, it, it seriously, it like would give me headaches just trying to learn the game because there's so much to learn. Because on top of the entire route, because you're talking like a two-hour run <laughs> on a game, and that's like booking it. And uh, no. there's each ro- there's like hundreds of rooms in the game, and each room has like a crazy strat to optimize for time. So you'll do a run. And then the next time you play, you'll try something else. And then you'll get that down. And then you want to work on, okay, so now I'm going to try this strat on my next run. And then I actually uh, bought one of those game saver things where you can uh, do save states with your actual uh, Super Nintendo. And that helped out a lot because I'd get to a room that I knew like uh i needed to work on to get that strat down and i could just grind that out for like a half an hour just play that one room so i could next run that i did i'd be for sure i could do that um uh, i guess my question i'm I'm trying to lead to but if you get let's say 130 that that's not the world record right no uh world record right now is about uh, I don't know if it's been beaten since the last time I checked, but it was like a 117. Okay. So let's say you get 125. Would you submit a score to Twin Galaxies with that for fastest completion? Would I? Yeah. I would do it for one reason, even though I know it's not a world record, and if people came up to me and said, hey, you got the world record on that, I'd be like, no, I don't. You know, this is... <laughs> uh, Zosti has the record, you know, you can find his Twitch channel over here. I would say that, but I, the reason why I would submit to Twin Galaxies is to get that ball rolling, and then somebody will see that and be like, well, pff, I can beat that. I get like a 118 to 120 every time I play, you know? And then exactly. they'll, another top-tier player will submit over mine, and then... He'll he'll tell all because the Super Metroid community is really tight knit in that way where like everyone knows everyone and what's going on and who's working on what. So if if I did like a 122 to a 125, that would be top tier, and one of those guy top tier players would see that and be like, well, I ain't gonna let him have that, and I would just initially get the ball rolling for Twin Galaxies, yeah, to kind of encourage it, 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 people to submit, yeah. yeah. And if you don't want to submit to Twin Galaxies, that's fine. You don't have to. Say, no one, no one's forced. If, if anything, why wouldn't you submit to all of them? Yeah, really. That's the question right, yeah. I just yeah. understand. It's like there's sure. all. You don't this, have to make a choice. Yeah, like, there's just all this. Dump it off and get oh, it on you, all. Oh, you submitted a score there. You're a traitor. What are you talking <laughs> why about? Why is there loyalty? I submit scores. Now, some some websites don't require much proof. All they require is a screenshot. So what I do, That's, I submit some of the Twin Galaxies. I used to submit the high score. I don't anymore. I don't know why. I'm lazy. Cyber score. I just put the same score on everything. The Guitar Hero records. Yeah. I know I'm not the best rock band player in the world. People think I am at Twin Galaxies. But well, you are. People come at Twin Galaxies. You but are. I'm not the world record holder. There's way many more many people than I. Yeah. It's just... It's just an act of doing it. So that that's kind of my, you know, big response to it. And when you were talking about getting people to do that, my NHL 94 record did that. I submitted a score to Twin Galaxies. It was 47 goals or whatever. And you know what? The NHL 94 community, which I was barely a part of. I don't like playing online. So yeah. they got a hold of it. And guess what? What I wanted to truly find out is who's the best NHL 94 player. And you found he out. showed yeah. up. He came in. He submitted a score of 54. Blew me out of the That's water. Insane. And guess no. what? I got a best new friend. Yeah. He's awesome. I can't wait to actually meet him in person October 12th, and hopefully we face off in the Sega Genesis it's finals. September 12th. September 12th. Yeah, I'm all screwed up. Yeah. So in terms of saying this, you know, this is the world record holders, you know, let them call themselves yeah. the you know, let Twin Galaxies call themselves the 
king of you know video game scores speed run can do well, the same thing i think speed demos is the best for speed runs and that's my opinion and we're here talking on swing galaxies live which you know? isn't something you're just saying now you've no, been saying i've been that saying for, that for three uh, years i was gonna say ever since we've ever done the show yeah. basically yeah that's the that's the thing too it's like i'll say some strata record got beaten by somebody on the webs and i watched it and it looks legit to me but it's like by throwing my my run out there on twin galaxies that's like a challenge so it is. if you think you can do better, submit it. If you don't want to submit it, hey, that's fine. I wish that you would, because it like I prefer to be to be second place than like fraudulent first. But yeah. submit your score. <clears throat> if, if but if they don't want to, I can't force them to do it. So and, and do, that's the it's, need, it's a challenge. Right. And that's the need that a few speedrunners from the speedrunning community and part of the Twin Galaxies community is what they were trying to. Oh, this is what I wish Twin Galaxies was about. Yep. And then they presented right. it to Jace. Hey, I want this with Twin Galaxies. I want that I want that same feel when I get a Twin Galaxies score as I do with the speedruns. But there's no tracks or how can we do this? And that's what all this started on. So really, uh, all this c controversy of forum posts was the past, you know, it, it's trying to bring more people together. Now, like I said on the yep. forums... It'd be, yes, it would be awesome where there'd be one spot where every world record was approved, adjudicated for all video games, any way you want to play it, Not gonna speed happen. run with no glitches, with glitches, you know, standing on one leg, then we're back to record setter, which, you know, and, and that's where the Twin Galaxy exactly. sites filters that out because there's a new rating system that says, well, this version of playing the game, Not more the people think is a better way to play the game than this version um you know for example my yeah. opinion would be sonic the hedgehog yeah. get all the emeralds i think's a little more impressive mm -hmm. get, speed run getting all the seven emeralds is a little more impressive than just being the game minimalist you know i think that now uh, and people can vote on that and yeah so what there's still both of them uh, i was gonna say as long as both of them are still there then yeah they're still both whatever. there yeah so and it is two different ways yeah. to play it. Yeah. So. so in terms of people stealing from, well, maybe some of the rules were directly taken, and obviously that's been, you know, changed. But, um, you know, I'm not saying, you know, there's a reason why we're still here. This is kind of what I wanted to sum up. Time is up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're all right. Yeah, I got 15 minutes. Yep. The, the other oh, thing about submitting the Twin Galaxies, and, and a reason that you do it, even, like even if you submit somewhere else, is... Twin Galaxies has some prestige, right? I mean, they, they, they and Jace is doing amazing things, things that uh, can't really be done by other other sites. Uh, and also, like, there are competitions coming up, like the, the Olympics thing that he's working on in uh, October and some other things. So, I mean, there's just so much, so much happening at Twin Galaxies. I don't know if anyone would not want to be part of it, right? It's not like you can only be part of, you know, Twin Galaxies and nothing else. Be part yeah. of both. Why wouldn't you? I'm a, part, I'm a part of other video game websites. Yeah, yeah. I'm on Retro Uprising. Yeah. I love Retro Uprising. It's great. And, and other stuff. So. Some of these websites are actually competing against each other. For example, Glenn's on one team and I'm on another team. Exactly. Glenn's well, on the traitor team. No, 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 it's not a traitor team. Here's why. Here's what no, the, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Was, I'm kidding. This is the cool thing about this tournament is it, it was so hard for me to decide which team I'm going to be on because... I interact with most of the websites and communities that signed up for that team. You know, I've submitted scores to MARP. I'm on Donkey Kong Forum every day. I play on Retro Uprising. I've submitted to Twin Galaxies. I do this show for them. But what ultimately what came down and why I made the decision to join the team that I did is because I have met most of the people on that team in real life. So... That's pretty much what ultimately made, helped me make my decision on which team to go to. How's which, the tournament know, going? It's great. I think they have like over 2,000 submissions already. Yep. Wow. That's cool. awesome. Uh, what is it? Names? I can't. I don't know. Hang on. I don't know. Marp? You're talking about Marp? Marp's winning, so, right? Yeah. yeah. Marp is currently in the lead with uh, Team PNS. Uh, uh, just say it. Second? Hunter. And uh, Team Penis. And uh, Twin Galaxies is currently in third place, but it's only day 10 of a 30-something day, 35-day tournament. So plenty of time left. Plenty of scores still to be had, and a lot of people are still submitting. A lot of people from our team still haven't submitted, and but they're thing too. So 
I think it'll be uh, I think it'll be interesting. I probably shouldn't have given that away, but uh, just know <laughs> we're still in the fight. For those oh, of you yeah, wondering I... what we're talking about, we didn't officially tell. It's called the Internet oh, Gaming yes. Bash of the Year. Uh, if you actually go to tournament.vg, uh, you'll see a few tournaments run there. There's another Donkey Kong tournament. Yay. Um, <laughs> but you'll see this cool MAME tournament where it, it competes different Favorite websites game. against each other in a team format where one person just can't win it all for the team. So it's a pretty uh, pretty cool month-long tournament. Just yeah, cool. A bragging rights contest, and that's it's got a lot of good games game. in it. Yeah, yeah, and have... one of them especially you're playing right now, Glenn. Well, I just have the demo screen up while I'm talking. But, but... Oh, I thought you were kicking butt at Donkey Kong Three. Yeah. Dude, this game <laughs> is like, so just frustrating. Keeps playing the same level over and over again in the same exact way. <laughs> it's bizarre. Uh, this game's frustrating. Because it's it's a game that I know I should be good at, but I just can't get it down. It's fun. I like it. It's a good one. Yeah, it is. I mean, there's. You know what took me the longest to cope with is the his shots almost. Because it, it, I I'm paying attention to his gun, and I'm thinking that the shots are gonna. I don't know. It's weird. I couldn't <laughs> hit anything with one shot to start off with, you know. But now I can peg things off pretty well with one shot. Oh yeah. So who so, I have to ask who's in TG Live Four? <laughs> Hello, it's Andrew Me. How do I do? I who? Andrew Me. Who is it? Andrew Me. Oh, Andrew Me. Oh, oh. hey, oh. Andrew. <laughs> Finally get to see you. That's awesome. <laughs> That's a settle it on the yeah. screen alumni. Oh, kidding! Oh, definitely. Man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Andrew it's about half to it. He's put the most quarters in any machine at Twin Towers. <laughs> that's the official forward. title yes. he, he gave himself today. That's awesome. That's great. I awesome. Like that. Welcome. Yeah, I, I have read your name more on this show than anyone you else. You should have just busted up in here and been like, I'm Barthax. That's how I would have made <laughs> my entrance. Yeah, true, yeah. Oh, oh well, we got a little show. Oh, yeah. voice with the name. I know. Awesome. That's fantastic. Yes. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I do when I can't sleep, you know. <laughs> Good stuff. So, are you on here to give me crap about breaking your Tetris record? Yeah, damn right. Yeah. Yeah, I thought maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Andrew's. Like, um, here's some. Is, do you prefer Andrew or Pete? Pete. Yeah. Pete. Pete. Okay. So, so Pete's like, oh. hey, here's some great tips for Tetris, and I'm like, yeah, great, thanks. Oh, I beat your score. <laughs> <laughs> What's your tips? <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I'm known by my middle name. It's Pete. Pete, okay. Sorry about that. I always call you Andrew. Uh, no problem. It's my first name's Andrew. You know, if you call me Andrew, it's still my name. It's not <laughs> a problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it. um, my middle name is Danger. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Everyone's like, wait, what is it? No. I, I, I never came back to this, but I'm just going to go back to it. And I'm like, oh, stop, stop beating a horse. Back to... His, not a dead horse. Yeah, a okay. Horse. So... Addison here has 13 hours, 14 minutes submitted to Twin Galaxies. I, I do want to read these nice. other scores. So I bet some people are like, well, what's really the Final Fantasy oh, okay. VII world record since it's such a, you know, you know, uh, very popular game. We know too much about it. Is it 47 minutes? Um, there is one run on the PlayStation as well that I found on the Internet that's 8 hours, Damn. 24 minutes, and 13 seconds from but, SK846N Livin'. Uh, congratulations yeah. to him on the PlayStation. But who is that? Who is yeah. it? And, and on, based on what evidence? It's like, it's like oh, I, I, I know a guy who's faster than... You know, the fastest guy in the Olympics. Why didn't he go to the Olympics then? Oh, I, he was busy. Like, what? Well, that, Submit that, it. Well, well, he probably doesn't know about Twin Galaxies, so settle down. You're okay. He might not. He might not, too. Ah, sorry. But then there's also another. Now, that was on a leader. That was on a Final Fantasy VII niche oh, okay. website. Okay. okay, now there is full proof there. But then on Twitch, I found another run on the PlayStation for 7 hours and 47 minutes Damn. from Sreth. I don't know if that's on speedruns.com. So yeah. did I watch them and verify them? Of course not, but I'm just putting these out there. And the one that does have a name is Dave Rochefort. It's from St uh, Speed Demos Archives. It's on the PC version, oh. I believe, uh, 7 hours and 58 minutes. So he gave a name. So if you want to, the way I look at it is Dave's the world record holder for the PC, 
and I'm going to give Addison the world record here. And then the gamer tags. I mean, I mean that's that's just my personal belief. Yep. No, and, and it does. I know well, people. It might not be man. It, when you have a legitimate the, name behind it, it really does it for me. Well, it adds something. Well, don't sure you want your oh, yeah. name? Because this actually, I forgot to bring this up. When people who don't play video games and they go, hey, well, or you're, you're meeting people, you know, in your Alcoholics Nominus or whatever like that. <laughs> and I'm just saying, well, tell me one inch. Nick, tell me one interesting fact about you. Oh, I hold the record in Donkey Kong <laughs> 6. Oh, OK. Dude, I searched the Internet. I can't find it anywhere. Oh, yeah. That's because my uh, username is LightSocket75H. Oh, OK. Yeah. You know, and, and that's kind of. You know, the people who submit to Twin Galaxies, <laughs> they want to be known as it. When I tell my coworkers that I have the Sonic Points record, you know what? They can actually look it up for themselves and believe it then. But if I tell them my yeah. name's Timmel, it's like, you're not <laughs> Timmel. You're just, you know, that's not you. Yeah. Of course they can I, find I have out. another interesting fact about Nick. Apparently he's an alcoholic. Oh, yeah. no, I was referring to myself. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Or is it full <laughs> I alcohol. just go there to meet women. We only drink on Friday oh. nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard <laughs> Time. Yeah, I definitely only drink on Friday nights. That is definitely the only time 100% I drink. 100% truth. Yep. So thank you for all of you joining us. I hope it shed a little light onto all the exchanges back and forth yeah. between two websites. Um, I don't speak for everybody. We don't necessarily speak for Twin Galaxies, but maybe we did you know, express some of the majority of you know the opinions yes that some people have it's not that there's no stealing going on you know we don't it's, it's not nothing like that it's to promote gamer achievement is what yep. twin galaxies is here for so if you do it here you do it somewhere else great we can all play together can i just say something real nope. quick no damn it. go ahead nick no and if you watch the show uh regularly you've heard both of us say this before so forgive forgive us for uh, be sounding you know redundant but we've been part of the twin galaxies website and community for a long time now. too long we've been doing we have a very long time and even though there are still issues there's always going to be issues and do do we and by we i mean the website and jace the hardest part is getting credibility back yep but when we talk about the bad times they were bad as in there was nothing and we, the majority of our time with the website was the bad times. Yeah. And even though it's not perfect right now, this is the best we've ever had it with the, with the yeah, Twin Galaxies. we've been here five years. Yeah, yeah six sure. years. Oh, so six it's years. not even, when we're talking about if there's issues, there's always going to be issues and there's always going to be yeah. problems. But yeah. it's not even close. Yeah. This is what we dreamed about six years ago yeah. when we first started doing this. So I think we Twin wanted Galaxies to help this. It's the best change. now. Yeah. No, then, then exactly. So even though it's not perfect, man, it's so much better than it used to be yeah, so. compared to, I mean, and it's only been seven mm. months. Yeah. Join us on our site. We'll join you on your site. It doesn't matter. It's all fun. It's exactly. And yep. it is just, well, it's just, it is just for it's fun. It's supposed to be. I know we fun. had, you know, video games got boring for everybody here. So we had to add something else like competition and yeah. see who's the best. Because to be honest, like I said, I don't play Sonic, but. But fun again. One leg and one hand. That's how it's no, fun. You play with Guys, you have 25 oh, seconds. True. Cool. But, uh, so thanks for everybody yep. joining us tonight, for all of you tuning in to the first show. Um, of course, check out the website, register, See ya. hate mail, everything else. Thanks for joining us, Don. Thank you, Andrew, for joining us. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, thanks. It's more. Definitely. Thanks, Glenn. And Glenn, great, great show. show. And uh, FGC's up next. Yep. See ya. Peace. Galaxies.